Hey, what's up everybody? It's your girl Tanya Lady T and this is another edition of Lady T Sensations. Everybody get on the flavor train. Why? Because the tickets are free. Y'all, y'all requested it and I had to do it twice. Y'all, I had to get KFC's chicken pot pie and I am not disappointed. It was so good. I had to give me another one. Y'all, If y'all don't know about these chicken pot pies at K, I can't talk about it. Pot pie, coleslaw. I asked for two drumsticks, but oh well, I got a two piece, a biscuit, and it came with a cookie. And I wanted to try their um, Mountain Dew Baja Blast. I think that's what it's called. Anyway, let's get to praying. Thank you, most gracious and heavenly Father, for the food I'm about to receive, for the nourishment of my body, for Christ's sake. Amen. And y'all, ooh, I done jacked that one up. But you know I have to put some more seasonings on my coleslaw. Can't do it without onion powder. Didn't y'all know? You know, I forgot the pepper. And some Old Bay, y'all. I just like Old Bay on my coleslaw. Okay, stir it up. And we're gonna get to eating. I'm gonna talk to y'all for a little bit. Then I'm gonna call it a night and get in the bed, honey. Get in the bed. And I don't want no hot sauce today. Don't want no applesauce today. Some days I, it's on, some days it's off. Mmm. Perfect. And they had already broken this off. Y'all that crust though. It's like the crust is so buttery. Oh. That is so good, y'all. It's got potatoes, chicken, and they're not stingy with it. Carrots. It's like a buttery flaking. Look at that carrot. I have to double check, make sure it's done, honey. Oh my goodness, this crust. Are you kidding me? I'm not gonna eat that biscuit because I already got bread. Mm. Mm. Hungry, y'all. Can you tell? Mm.
Oh, that's pretty good. Tastes like a cotton candy, cotton candy uh, Mountain Dew. Um, first of all, I'm keeping non-essential and essential government workers in my prayers. Um, I personally, you know, doing some things to help a, a individual, but it's just, it's really bad, y'all. My sympathy, my heart. That's a bad, it's got to be a nasty, bad feeling when you're working and but you don't know when you're gonna get your paycheck mm. anyway just in your prayer time to keep keep those people lifted in prayer and the businesses that are affected by it Which is my segue into what I want to talk to. I know when you can, you can, and when you can't, you can't. And that's the importance of trying to plan. Oh, sure, we want to listen to Ray Ray and them. Oh, sure, we want to listen to Pamela and John. But we really need to learn, myself included, I had to learn the lesson and still learning. You better know how to plan for a rainy day because it's real. Those David Ramsey teachings, for those of you who know who David Ramsey is, if you don't Google him, he's financial, planning, all that good stuff. And there's some other people out there. They could, your own mama, your own daddy could have told you. It's really the truth. When they truly say that you need to have, and again, I know everybody can't do it because everybody living the paycheck to paycheck. Huh. Been there. Um, but be planning the best you can. When they say you need to have about three in, three months of income stashed away for for, for such a time as this, I'm serious. It's really the truth. You you really don't think about that because, like I said, who 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 who's got three months of rent and 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 and, and whatever that you can just tap into? But I'm just telling uh, y'all for those of us who can, uh, don't wait. Don't be trying to wait on this politician to decide something. That politician, this president. Uh, uh I don't care what side of the aisle you on. You be able to be planning based on what's uh, conducive to your family because jokers can say whatever they want to say out of their mouth and then they change their mind. And then here now it is, you stuck in trouble. And I'm not faulting anybody. I'm just saying when things occur, we have to make it, we have to have catapult from that, you know, benchmark to learn from it, you know. And it's a hard lesson because uh, let me tell you, yeah. I'm speaking to myself. When you get bit, baby, and you find yourself in a, a financial hole, let me tell you, it takes some dirt under your fingernails, crawling. I'm talking about crawling up an upside down wall. <laughs> to get out. It's no fun. And the other thing I wanted to touch on, I wanted to just maybe express going a little bit more depth about this R. Kelly situation. But the angle that I was saying that I wanted to take because y'all know, if y'all watch my video on Sunday, me, Tony, and my mom, we, we discussed it a little bit. 
Mmm, that crust. Y'all, the angle I want to, to talk about, because like I said, I want to say things and be about things that are impactful. And the angle of where I'm coming from is, like I said, oh sure, we know the obvious, what he did was low down, dirty, it was, these women are on me scarred for life. Um, he needs help, we know, okay, all that, and whatever wage uh, the sin the wages of sin whatever whenever sin comes to collect its wage okay you got to be able to deal with it okay so with that aside although he was the one committing the acts the actual acts physical acts if you will to me that's why it's so important to have balance of people around you. It's good to have people who can give you good sound advice. It's good to have people around you that can give you good godly counsel. What do you mean by that, Lady T? What do you mean? Oh, sure. I love my good, good girlfriend. I have two really good, good friends. I have friends. I have women who pour into my life. Older women. But I'm talking about a really good friend. We about 30 years deep now. I love her and I trust them enough that they're going to tell me. They're going to check me. And what I mean by that, I ain't talking about every time they see me. Ooh, girl, I can't believe you wearing that lipstick. Girl, I can't believe. Ooh, what's that eyeshadow you got on? What? That's, I ain't talking about that. That's, that's folly. That's, that, 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 that's nothing impactful. I ain't talking about that kind of stuff. Ooh, girl, them shoes is running. Ooh, girl, your breath stank. Oh, well, yeah, you, you can tell. You, that could be a problem if your homegirl breath stank and, and, and everybody talk about it. Yeah, you might want to go on the tip. But, but y'all understand what I'm saying. I'm talking about people need to be careful about how who, who they allow to say yes. They're always, for instance, at your beck and call. They're all they they they're not going to be the ones to tell you the truth because they don't want to lose your friendship or because they're gonna lose a paycheck or because of this that. Be careful. Cause see, I, I, I this is me. I want somebody in my inner circle, whether it's my mama, whether it's Miss Barbara, what you know. Whoever that are close to me that that can that I receive and pour into my life and don't get me wrong Some of you all leave some awesome Suggestions on both my channels Y'all leave some awesome suggestions y'all know how to tactfully say it You can y'all you, give good constructive criticism and I think upon what y'all say and leave me and I thought okay I, maybe I can think about that differently or maybe I need to that's a good point Yeah, and I and I try to be uh, you know, transparent and leave that uh, in the comment section when somebody says something that, you know what, okay, that's a good point. Maybe I, I need to look at it that way. But I'm going to be honest with you. I don't want somebody in my life and all they do is say, oh, yeah, girl, yes, yes. No, no. If I'm over there in left field, reel me back in. T -t -t talk me off the cliff. Get me off the skyscraper. Uh, yeah. Now, like I said, I ain't talking about foolishness stuff. Like I said, your eyelashes, your eyebrows, you know, unless you finna go on TV somewhere and you don't want to make you, your friend look like a fool. I mean, like I said, we ain't talking about that. I'm talking about bona fide people around you that care. Wait, wait, wait. That care enough about you that's not going to just, you know, blow smoke up you know where. And like I said, no, you don't want to, and you don't want to have people who are around you who are nothing but dream killers. Oh, honey, they got the cape. 
They got the bandana. They got the spear. They got the, uh, what's the name of that poison? Anthrax. That, I ain't talking about them people. You, so again, that's why I said it'd be a balance. So that when something when something in your life is going to the left, you ain't just enabler. You ain't just co-signing. You ain't just complicit with everything that they do. Unless it's positive. Unless it's impactful. But honey, I'm telling you. Because a lot of times, and I'm just going to say it. A lot of times people will get themselves in a situation and they, and they got friends around them high-fiving them, co-signing foolishness. You hear what I'm saying? co-signing foolishness all all because oh yeah that's my girl okay you to me you do more harm to that person when you do that kind of crap you need to be able to tell your friend say look hey let me play this side let me let me put something in your thinking in your hearing that is applicable to the situation going going on and this don't this ain't a good look Suge. this ain't a good look it ain't good for you to do that. Just because you have the money, just because you might have the notoriety, just because you might have the fame, just because you have a particular audience. Oh, be very careful. Make no qualms about it. You need some people around you that can, that can, that can constructively check you. And they're doing it for the good of you so that you will be prosperous so that you don't fall into a ditch see a lot of times the way of a man or a woman seem right but it what sometimes leads to their own destruction now that's the word Same way with stuff going on on this platform. People are doing do things that are wrong. They're doing stuff and then they're being called out on it. And like I said, I don't believe in attacking people and all that kind of stuff. No, no, no. But if you're if you're talking facts and you're only putting out there based on what they said, okay, come on now. And like I said, I don't have a dog in any of those those fights. But I'm just saying, if you're going to apologize, apologize. Yet let your yeses be yes and let your noes be noes. Don't be getting on here and, and flim flamming and, and faking the funk and saying one thing, but your actions are doing another. Uh-uh, honey. No, 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 no. And like I said, I'm praying about all that stuff that's happening. And now we got some stuff going on in the mukbang community, some stuff. It just, you know, stuff. But I'm just saying, you know, let your yeses be yeses and let your noes be noes. If you're wrong, you need to come with it. You need to just come with it and stop all that foolishness because that's all it is. And I'm, again, I'm just speaking on it because outside of just on this platform, people in your, like I said, again, with the correlation with R. Kelly. And like my mom said, maybe there were people in his camp that hey man you need to learn how to read man you need to do this and that and the other but based on the preponderance of what had been published produced you know broadcast he had a lot of people that were yes people he had a lot of people that just didn't care enough or had the forethought and maybe those who did maybe they left quietly maybe they just you know walked off into the sunset and said, you know what, I can't I can't be under this. And I'm sure there were some that were like that too as well. But it just got me to thinking because I've seen it happen. I've seen it happen to people that I love. I've seen it happen to people, whether it be co-workers, they, they get these people that are in their corner. And like I said, I'm not talking about People who pour into you positive things. I ain't talking about it. I'm talking about people, they don't even have a forethought. Because they don't even feel comfortable if they have a place to tell you something. This is like I was telling someone the other day I was talking. I said, it's one thing if a person asks you questions because based on your response, based on your answer, they're going to take that information do what they need to do with that information that helps to 
build you, that helps to catapult you wherever you need to go to be an assistance to you. And you got to be able to know the dis difference and discern those things. But you got some people who ask you questions and extract information from you. Why? Because they're going to take that. They're going to hold that information in a little bag. They're going to go home and cook a pot roast or a pot of rice and gravy. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Don't that sound good? And some biscuits. And they're going to spread a table out so that they can take that information and go ahead on and talk about you like a dog to several other people. See, there's a difference. You got to know the difference. And it's no different than, you know, people who are enablers around you. Let me tell you, I've had to do it. You have to sometimes cut that string. You have to sometimes digress and let them feel the brunt of stuff. Oh, yes, it's a painful thing. You don't want to ever have to do that. But if you don't, you cause that person to lead them own selves to destruction. And we see it time and time and time again. I bet when I was young, I've been there, done that. Thank God for my praying mama. Thank God for my praying daddy. Thank God for other family members and or friends from afar. Somebody prayed for Tanya. And I had to start my first one. I had to start over. I had to make better decisions. That, w that wouldn't lead me into co into constant destruction. Oh, so I've learned. Oh, 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 yeah. I can see folks like that coming a mile off. Mm -mm. Oh, okay. You ain't really asking me these questions. And like I said, I ain't talking about, ooh, where you get that hat from? Or, ooh, where you got that this and that? I that uh, no, we ain't talking about that. I'm talking about people who just want to bust out and ask you real, you know. But no, that's the angle I wanted to come from. Because, like I said, we can get on here and, and speak the obvious. It was wrong. The parents should have been more about we, we All of that. But now that we have that information now, what are we going to do with it? Now that we know... Again, way before R. Kelly, there are pastors every day messing with folk. There are school teachers. There are, pick a pick a pick a profession. So now that we know this exists, we have to have these strong conversations and talks with our children. And just as Tony said, he has a 13-year-old daughter, my niece. I have a 13-year-old granddaughter and a 2-year-old granddaughter. It's hard to have those conversations, but it has to happen. But anyway, like I said, I just wanted to come on with my specific, that which I'm drawing out of. That's why it's so important. Put people around you so that you don't slip into that destruction. A lot of times, and I'm not saying that you have to go and seek and seek out people, you know, just so they can beat you down all day. No, 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 never that. Not talking about that. Sometimes you might have a friend, girl, or, or whatever, and you know that they're to the point. But sometimes you might need them to the point people around you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just so that you know, okay, well, uh, at least I know. If again, I'm off in left field. Oh, she gonna she gonna help to reel me back in, cause we are. My mama is that for me, and I, like I said, I got a couple of real good Judys, if you will, and of course the Comforter of the Holy Spirit. But I'm being serious, y'all. I really am. Be careful. When things come up, when things are critical, 
when you when there's a fork in the road and you got to make a decision be careful that you don't allow your friends even sometimes your family members just because we're family you know they're gonna co-sign on everything i do oh um i don't think so Sometimes we have to steal away and sit to ourselves and say, you know what, Lord, I need help with this, this one. Because the preponderance of people are saying, girl, that was wrong. Or man, that was wrong. What you did was wrong. Just admit it. And you know, that's the other thing too about admitting that you're wrong. It's not a, a sign of weakness. Let me just say this. When you admit you're wrong, this is what I tell my staff at work. Let me tell you something. If you go ahead on and confess to everybody that this applies to, go ahead on and confess and say, you know what, look, I was wrong. And I'll, I'll, I'll try to do better. I really will. I didn't think that through. I, I, whatever. I, I, I was just wrong. You ain't got to add, you know, anything else to it if you don't need to. If, it, if, there, if no further explanation did. I was wrong. I didn't think it through. I, I, I'm just sorry. I apologize that this, this happened. Okay, going forward, this is how we're going to proceed. See, when you go ahead on and do that, and I'm talking about this is wisdom and maturity that has to kick in. When you go ahead on and do that, you squash. Now, people will still run their mouth. Oh, absolutely. But if you go ahead on and give a genuine true apology not no flim flam mess because that makes it worse because <laughs> you you're insulting people's intelligence when you do that when you have done a you have done something wrong go ahead on and confess it say okay this is the corrective action we're going to take to to, to, to you know this is the corrective action we're going to take okay and then that way you can move on. You can squash any other questions anybody has. It, it really is it. It takes the steam out of it when you go ahead on and confess that thing. You take the steam out of it. But when you don't do that, you continue to allow. It creates more fodder. It creates more frustration, aggravation. That's why the Lord tells us to repent. Forgiveness comes with, through repentance. What can, I, what can I say to a man or a woman and they go ahead on and say, you know what, I was wrong. I shouldn't have done it. I should have, I should have read this further. I should have, uh, 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 what, what? But a lot of people, they, it'll continue to perpetuate because they had, some people just have a problem with apologizing. You, we can't be so complacent that we cannot say, I'm sorry. I was wrong. I shouldn't have done that. Shouldn't have said that. Shouldn't have pursued it. And then you got people in your camp, again, talking about R. Kelly, that are perpetuating it. I mean, I looked at uh, not too long ago, what, one day last week, he's, he's either starting or tried to start a website called Surviving Liars. Oh, yeah. Oh, sure. We've all been lied on at one point or another in our life. Oh, absolutely. But really no I mean you you the women have to text you to go to the bathroom they have to text one of your workers or whatever your manager when they want a hot dog or have something to eat huh. And several of those women. So, again, you see what I'm saying? The people that was doing that, they had to say to myself, now I know good and well, now if this was my daughter, see, but see that there again. People, if it doesn't affect them, they could care less. But anyway, honey, y'all know I can get deep, honey. But I did. I just, I think it's so important. I think it's just so important. Let your yeses be yeses and your noes be noes. When you're wrong, confess it, heal, and move on. You'll be respected a, so, a whole lot better. 
You'll be, I mean, like I said, don't enable people, don't, 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 don't enable people to continue on in their foolishness. Somebody got to say something. They really do. Mm. Y'all been running my mouth? I mean, I hate that this is going on because it's so nasty. It's vicious. It's hurtful. And then, so now, here it is now, I guess, you know, our killer record sales is, is, is peaking. Well, you know what? He gonna need that money to pay off Security because he's gonna have to show enough have security now Because there's some people that really want to put it on him and, and, and I don't condone that I really don't Violence is not the answer Retaliation is not the answer because but when you're dealing with people with affairs of the heart and that seed That baby they pushed out Are you kidding me? I went through 12 hours of labor I went through 23 hours of labor, or however many labor of hours. And you gonna mess with one of my eggs? That baby I pushed out? So when you're, when you're dealing with affairs of the heart, come on now. Oh yeah. That mama and papa bear comes out. And it's... <laughs> but anyway, y'all. Don't want to try to get too deep because y'all know I have and can and will. But that's that's just all I wanted to express for us as individuals. Think about that thing. Think about who 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 are, who's in my camp. I love Carly Bible. I think she's a beautiful young lady. Um, she does makeup. I love watching her do her makeup. I love Time the Infamous. I was praying for her, y'all. She has had um. Her she had breast implants done about four, maybe five years ago. So anyway, it was causing her some serious health issues. So she's just had her implants removed. And so I've been praying for her. But those two, I, I brought time up because that's an interesting story. And she just uploaded where she just had them her implants extracted. So anyway, I you know those are just two women that I love to to watch. And again, because of the makeup. And like Carly Bible, I have one of her makeup palettes. But, you know, even with her, I was listening to her latest video that she was talking about. And again, same way with her where she said, you know, something went to the left where somebody, in, in, on, you know, that was doing the accounting or, or some type of financial. They screwed her over and stole from her. And you hear about that a lot, too, with celebrities and stuff. But, you know, I thought, again, there again. You really have to be, you have to, and you have to pray. Lord, help me discern who is the right people. And not that you're running around critical like the boogeyman is going to get you, you know. No, no. Lord, just give me that discernment. Let me, let me, let me be careful who I let in my circle like that. I'm talking about with your intimate stuff. And I, th I just, you know, I just, I, you know, when she was talking, I said, oh, my God. You know, again, thinking, and, I, and we know people, you can vet people, you can get their resume. <laughs> Listen, been, been there, done that with some of the folks. Yeah, 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 I can hush about it. But what I'm saying, and, and on paper, check, 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 check. And, 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 and we know that, too. A, a lot of times, you don't know a person how they'll work out until they work for you. And, and I get that too. But there again, and I'm not blaming Cowley or nothing like that, but I'm just saying that the, just the nature of people. And I thought, my God, you know, I know she was, you know, starting or has started a makeup, you know, was trying to start. But anyway, something went to the left. She didn't really get deep in touch on it, but she just let it be known. She point blank said, yeah, these people screwed me. And we're stealing from her. And that's just, and you know, and I thought, wow. But see, that's just the nature of people. But again, it's about who's around you. And you have to really pray in this day, period. But specifically, 
because the playing field is so level and everybody is getting on and it's so awesome how everybody's doing their channel and shout out to UB loves I love you Bethany girl you doing it girl you on with Patrick Star even before Patrick Star she was already doing it but I'm just saying you know even her that's awesome to me it's so awesome you know and, and and again you and I keep her lifting in prayer I keep all from small youtubers like me on up through the ranks I pray for this community I really do I really really do I want us all to be successful I really really do that's the genuineness of my heart and it just hurts me when there's and I understand everything ain't always gonna be peaches and cream I, I get that I would be crazy to not think that but it did I thought wow you know people just people try to stick you for your paper uh, uh. Stick you for your paper. Won't that Biggie Smalls that sang that song or whatever back in the day? I'm sick. I'm telling you, it's just it's so sad. And here, here's what it is: if you're grinding and doing the best you can, you know, get your own. Why, why do people steal? Whew. I'm talking about cash money. People stealing from you in that regard. I just don't get it. But anyway, honey. Like I said, we we also as a community need to learn how to laugh. I mean, are you kidding me? We really do. We really need to learn how to laugh at some things. But anyway, I can keep right on running my mouth because y'all know I can. And uh, but I'm gonna shut up and I'm gonna end it right here. Call my sweetie pie. See how he's doing. He's doing so much better. Them antibiotics kicked in, honey. It took care of some business. But anyway. Love y'all. Thank y'all for praying for my mom, too. She's doing much better. That's it, and that's all. Oh, I can rub my mouth. But anyway. I don't know what we're going to do this Sunday, but I'll probably do another video. I've been craving me some chicken wings, so I might do a chicken wing video later on in the week. But anyway, let me go. And I want to thank y'all for stopping by the flavor train because what? What? Flavors, where is that? Well, I love y'all. Be blessed and be encouraged. Amen. Bye, y'all.